Hello, and welcome to James Lessons Express Lane, where we get you out as fast as possible. After the first week of football, woohoo! Football's back! Time for the new NFL Power Rankings. Once again, only doing the top 10 because we don't care about the Jets or the Clowns or the Bungles. I mean, really? No. Although, man, who the hell saw that coming from the Rams? Who the hell saw the Jags? The Jags are leading the AFC South. This is the first time they've had a winning record since 2011. Now the Bills are leading the AFC East. They're the only one in AFC East who got to win this weekend. Like, holy crap. But lots of shakeups, lots of movers, especially one team in particular. <clears throat> but starting with number 10, the Buccaneers. They didn't play, so couldn't really ding them due to the hurricane. Couldn't really move them, but I still feel, and then, hey, they got an extra week off, so that's an extra week of rest. Who knows, they might come back even better. But, moving on to number 9, had to drop the Saints. Sorry, but, I mean, it's the, first, it's the first week of the year, first game and all that, but, man, what a stinker for them. And Adrian Peterson was pissed. They weren't using him more like, hey, I went out there, and what did I do? I got you three yards. Oh, what's that? It's third and one? Nah, we're going to have this guy out there. Oh, you didn't get it. Oh, gee, if I'd been out there, would have gotten you three yards. That'd be a first down. Huh, maybe we should have done that instead, but they didn't. I can understand why he'd be pissed, because he's like, hey, I'm Adrian Peterson, put me out there. Nah, we're not going to put you out there. We'd rather go third and one, become four and two, instead of putting you out there and getting a first down. I mean, first downs aren't important in football, are they? Terrible. Just the worst. But the Seahawks, number eight. Wow, I mean, uh, Packers... For me, are going to win the NFC behind the Cowboys. Going to go Cowboys, Packers, so forth. But man, now that one player, the guy got injected for a punch. Like, watch replay, no punch thrown. Packer attacks him. He turns around. They get into a scuffle. He's the one who gets ejected. BS. Of course, it's being played at Lambeau Field. So, what do you expect? Terrible. But for me, a drop. Even though they won, the Steelers. Why did they drop? Because they barely beat the Browns. How do you... Well, looking back in history, the Browns always played the Steelers super tough. Like, they'd be like, lose, 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 lose. Get the Steelers. Might actually get a win. Back to one year, I remember the coach went like 2-14. and 14, But one of the wins was at home against the Steelers. Which helped him keep his job. It was, a, it was like, really? All it took was that one win to keep your job? Nice. But yes, since they struggled to beat the Browns, I had to drop them down. So, who moved up? Vikings. I did not expect our defense to do that. Like, the Saints are one of the top scoring every year. Like, the past three years, they've been in the top three. Drew Brees is top three quarterback for points and all that in fantasy. Like, they don't not score. And they couldn't until the Vikings let them, like, all right, we got this game one. Let's just, just run the clock out. Oh, wow, they scored a touchdown. Boo-hoo. We still win. Just, wow, I was not expecting that shellacking from the Vikings on them. Wow. but So that definitely moved the Vikings up. Like, I try to keep my bias away from this. But, man, after that shellacking, the Saints one of the top-scoring offenses. And, and Sam Bradford out there had a career day. Dalvin Cook in his very first regular season game broke Adrian Peterson's record for most rushing yards by a rookie in his premiere for the Vikings very specific stat, but he beat it by 20 yards. He got 127 versus Adrian Peterson's 107 back when his first game when he premiered in the league. Wow. And now, da -da -da -da. moving on to the Chiefs. The Chiefs beat the Patriots. They didn't just beat them, they spanked them. Who would have gone, this quarterback has four touchdowns, this one has zero, this one has over 300, this one doesn't. Well, obviously, Tom Brady threw four touchdowns and over 300 yards. Nope. Alex Smith did. I hate how people dig on him. Oh, he's a game manager. Oh, you mean he doesn't screw up? He doesn't make mistakes? He doesn't go out there and throw the game-losing pick six? No. No, he doesn't. And to beat the Patriots, holy hell, that definitely moved them up in my book. And this gives them the tiebreaker. If it comes down to it, this, this could give them the number one seed. If they keep playing like they did on Thursday... Hopefully they do. I love Alex Smith. Go Alex Smith. Rest of the Chiefs, yeah, but 
Jamal Smith. Now, next, the Peckers. Didn't really move for me because they beat the Seahawks, but there are points there and there that they struggled. I'm sure as the weeks progress, they'll get more oiled up and get out there and do better, but screw the Peckers. And now, moving on to number three, Raider Nation! The Titans' defense is a pretty good defense, usually. Beast mode rumbled through them every time. Derek Carr to Amari Cooper every time. Wow. Definitely, definitely number three. Moving on to number two, the Patriots. I never thought I would have had to move them to the number two spot, but they lost. And so they moved to number two, and in replacement for number one, Cowboys. They beat the Giants. Dak Prescott lost to them twice last year. They got swept last year. This year, they went out there and made the Giants look like fools. Wow. Cowboys, amazing. Good for them. Good for the fans. And as always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a wonderful day.